First thing we want to do is check your Nintendo Online account and uh, make sure you're signed up for Nintendo Switch Online. Give yourself access to the network. So you'll go log in, create an account, pay for an account. You know, it's only like 20 bucks for a year. It's a pretty good deal. And you can play other things online like Smash Brothers and stuff. But uh, once you get that, you can close. And we can head back over to Minecraft. And from there, uh, if you don't have the tokens, you might have to buy some tokens, but we're going to create a realm, which is basically renting out a server that people can play online and not any one person has to be logged in. So you'll go here and create your realm. You can name it or change the name. Check the agree and create 640 tokens. It'll last for 30 days, which, you know, if you get this done instantly, you won't need it for that long. Create our realm. You can play if you want immediately, or you can just go back if you're just making this to transfer worlds. So I'm going to hit go back. And then now I'm going to create a new test world because this didn't work for me with my world. As you can see, it's too big and it crashes out the switch before it can fully upload. So that is a problem. And why I'm creating a new world is there is somewhere a data cap where my Gen 1 switch crashes before it can transfer the whole file. So you can see I named it test. And now let's create this world. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the world and going to go into it and look around and also just make a few changes to the world. That way we can test, you know, the continuity when we transfer the world so it doesn't just look like a fresh one. So land in this little pond, a little bit of forest, and I'm just going to, at my spawn point, dig a couple dirt blocks and stack them up. And that way we'll be able to, you know, see that I've manipulated the world and that it'll transfer that continuity to the PC when we do it over here take a look got a little village over there piggies piggies might not make it in the transfer because it spawns so I'm gonna get out of here save and quit this test world and from here we go to our back to our realm pick your little pencil edit button you can see in between some of the cuts I've renamed it so it's fine so hit your pencil edit button and then from here we go over into these game options and down here we hit replace world and I'm gonna pick my test world it's gonna upload and you see with the switch level exported started but an error occurred, but then we also get export finish successfully. Apparently this is an ongoing bug that they just recently fixed. But if you just hit OK, it works, but you still get that error message for some reason. So now we're just going to hop in to our realm and see if it worked. All right, the piggies made it. And as you can see, we're on the realm, on the switch. And my little block of manipulated dirt is there 
on the spawn point. I'm in the same spot that I was. Looks like it worked. Of course, the transfer went way faster because it's a fresh world and it's only a few megabytes in size, not very big. So I'm going to save and quit out of this realm. And then from here, we're basically done with the switch side of things. I'm gonna close Minecraft and we're gonna put the switch in sleep mode. And then from there, we're gonna slide over to the PC. Got our PC Minecraft Bedrock Windows 10 version, of course. Gonna hit play. Got my realm communicating with my account. Gonna go to the edit button, download the world. Happens instantly, it's only 57 megabytes. All done. Gonna go back to our menu. And looky there, realmy copy. Let's go in and check it. Got a little alert. This is my literally my first time opening my Minecraft game on my PC. And same spot. Manipulated dirt. Piggies made it, although they're in a different spot. Got the little village over there. I haven't even inverted my crosshairs yet. Because I haven't even, this is the first world that I've opened on this PC because I failed trying to transfer my actual world that's too big. Which, that'll be a ongoing process. I may even upload uh, a troubleshooting video to show y'all how many times it failed and some of the other things I tried to do. You know, I archive, I backed up my file and then I archived Minecraft on the Switch and then reinstalled Minecraft to maybe see if the fresh uh, installation of updates worked. And maybe that process caused this to work, but uh, that's something to check on. So somewhere there's a data cap, but if your world is not too big, it'll work just fine. So save and quit, and that's it. We can close Minecraft. You can play your Switch world over on your PC now with better render times. You can mess with some more options. You can use your Elytra. But thanks a bunch. Happy crafting. <laughs>